Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Chemex Island, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Let's see what's so chaotic about chaotic canopy, and I destroyed that shell right away, so <laughs> guess we're not gonna know what's in those item boxes. Well, probably just coins or maybe a vine. Not that I would have needed it anyway, because this only has one exit. It's got that catchy Yoshi's music. Yoshi's Island music, though, which I like. But you hear it a lot in hacks, so it might get a bit tiresome after a while. Like, maybe you just want to hear some new stuff now and then. But you can't deny that the old school hack music, well, if you can call it old school, is still pretty good. Me, personally, I like a bit of both. Like, something new, but something that's tried and true. Huh, <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> Take that, Mother Goose. They call me Buster Rhymes. Because I pronounce my E's and R's, therefore I am Caucasian. <laughs> that was not a racist joke. Anyways, let's continue on here. I want to destroy that lacquer too, by the way. Thank you. Alright. If only there were a Yoshi you can get here, because imagine... Like the many cloud farts he can make in this level. You know what I mean. Like you grab two of those types of uh, berries over there of that color. You create some kind of cloud that, creates, that farts a bunch of smiley faces. And when you collect all the smiley faces, you get a one-up. I think if you fail, you might just... Damn it. You might just get a mushroom instead. Or nothing. I don't remember what the end reward was for that though. Either way, it wasn't that great, so you had to get everything if you wanted one of those 99 one-ups that you probably would have had by now. <laughs> okay, I cleared that level just to get to the green switch. Interesting. Oh, this is probably one where you can get trapped in, apparently, if I decide to just stay there. Huh, you can die here, too. Very rare they put in Switch Palaces where you can get killed in. Well, maybe the later ones did in Super Mario World after, well, the first one. So let's do Ninji's Night. Sorry, Ninjis, but I'm gonna take back the night. For plumbers that are of many different ethnic cultures rolled into one. It's their night, not yours. Also, nin ninjis don't seem to blend in with the night that well. You can still pick them out. It would have been nice if the sky was completely black. Now, Hammer Brothers I hate. More than ninjis. Well, I don't violently hate ninjis, but I used to be part of this group that uh, Chilean Retro Gamer was a part of, well, a big part of. And we had one guy in our group that constantly loved ninjis. That we would actually make fun of him by trying to kill ninjis on purpose. Just for that very reason. He has a cool guy though. I think uh, his name is Star Sims Universe. And had some involvement in Mega Man Unlimited, which is that awesome fan game that I played some time ago but never finished. He didn't play a big role, but he did help out a bit. Which was pretty cool in his own right. What's up here? Eh, just a Yoshi coin. I shall be double killing you guys, thank you very much. Oop, that was bad. Likely you don't turn completely small whenever you take a hit. So that does give you a little bit of peace of mind. Might make the hack a bit too easy though. But I guess it prevents some uh, BS heading your way. So, that's a bit of a nice touch. That being said, however, we're doing just fine. But what else is new? Spider Swamp. Okay, so spiders from Super Mario Land. They have the same kind of death animation, too. Overall, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> Oh, even more Super Mario Land enemies. Just mostly spider-themed. 
Whoa, did not mean to do that, but I'm happy that's how it went down. Also, I don't think I should go in the swamp. I have a feeling I'll die if I do. So, I shall try to avoid that. I'm guessing if you kill the enemy and you go off screen before, like, the squishing animation goes away, that the enemy will just respawn. So that's why it's a good idea to use a fire flower to kill them instantly. Uh, these are long jumps. Maybe it will be safe if you go in the swamp. But, I don't know. I haven't been in a situation where I was forced to get in there. And I'd really like to avoid that. Above all else. Maybe I'll end up being forced to go in there and then we'll know it's safe. But, for now, I'll just stay above. Thank you very much. And I'll kill those piranha plants that get in my way. Oh, oh, nope. I almost thought I was jumping on that piranha plant. That would have been bad. And definitely stupid. Hmm. Maybe it is safe. Oh, it's just like quicksand. Okay. Now we know. And knowledge is power. And half the battle. And what old white people fear, so they burn books for no reason. I don't know. Creepy Cabin. That sounds like a D-list snuff film. Talk to the smiling blocks of gold. The secrets of this cabin they may hold. Um... Okay. Let's read that again. Talk to the smiling blocks of gold. The secrets of this cabin they may hold. Okay. Well, this might only have like, one exit. And it just might be a complicated one. First, we need to find a smiling block. So I'm not going to go in that door yet. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. I like for that boo to get out of the way. Hmm. Huh. This might play a role into what I need to do. Oh. Okay. Now I now it makes sense to me. I think what I need to do is to make sure I don't hit that block. That might make a bit of sense and uh don't fall to your death. That also makes sense. I thought I could clear that. But I was wrong. It happens. This music, I believe, is also from New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. It was a good game. A bit too easy, though. Now, we just gotta remember, well, not to make that same mistake twice. That's all. Nothing too big. I would imagine most of these doors are just for resetting. And this one. There we go. I'm guessing we just gotta keep going over here. And boom. This might allow us to continue. Hmm. This is a very interesting level, though. That I will admit. It does require me to think a bit. Oh, let me guess. Uh, there's a secret door right over here. So, let's get that P-switch found. Seems like a bit of a dead giveaway, if you ask me. Oh, land on that. Thank you. Hmm, and there's another puzzle. So I gotta pay close attention to my surroundings in case there's a vine. If there is a vine, then we'll obviously we might have to climb it. Uh, not gonna bother with coins. Oh, jeez. Hmm. I 
really hate that if you mess up a puzzle, you have to start the entire level over. Ha! There we go. Got ourselves a P-switch. Now, did we botch this? I don't think so. Oh. I think we'll do just fine. Up oh, there we go. Exit. I think there was only one exit in that haunted house. The map would pretty much tell me that, that they couldn't just squeeze another exit there. Let's go to Serene Stream. Mm, sounds like a remix of the classic water music in Super Mario Bros. Eh, a little different. Not bad. I'll live with it. And I'll live as long as I'm out of this level. I don't hate water levels to the same level as Colin L. 112 does. Who, by the way, is now a new dad, which is awesome. So congratulations to you and Colin L. 180 for that. They're not brother and sister, by the way. They're husband and wife. Don't get the wrong idea. But they just uh, had their first child not that long ago. So, congrats to you guys, and I still have millions swimming inside me right now. That's pretty much how it is. That being said, however, I'm not ready to be a dad yet. Maybe I will be some point in my life, but for now, I'm just happy with the life that I have at this point. It's not perfect, but hey, I'm still able to entertain you guys. Wouldn't have it any other way. So, let's get back to the game. Oh, I already got fire flowers. I noticed that's the only power-up you get in this hack. I've never seen a feather. I've never seen Yoshi. In fact, I don't think I've ever even seen a star. Where have they been at? I mean, I saw P-switches of both colors, but still. They're not really power-ups. They're just part of a puzzle. That's it. Also, none of these pipes you can even go in. There's so many of them. Like, seriously, can I go in at least one of them? You're, you're starting to tease me, game. I don't like that. It's rude. Not even this one. You think because it was guarded, you could. I practically committed aquatic genocide in this level. Did I kill almost every single fish? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> now, let's move on to the fortress. Resnor's Fort. Not the same dude from Nine Inch Nails. That's another guy. He'd be too good for a fort. He would have a loft. Moving on! <laughs> Okay, this could be a bit tricky. Never mind. I didn't think you could get to the other side of that from that angle. Oh yeah, this type of fortress has a Yoshi's Island feel for sure. I remember it's been years since I tried a Yoshi's Island ROM hack and kind of got burned out by it. Maybe because I put too much pressure on myself trying to get 100%, knowing that if I didn't, people would be asking me to do it or telling me to do it. And some of the stuff was just too hard. Not to mention I finished a Let's Play of Yoshi's Island not that long ago. I just didn't want to do it. But I guess that's my own fault. Oh, that was bad. That was also my fault. Throwing in this little element of danger is quite neat as well. Makes you think that you can just, like, climb past those, uh, spike pillars, but you can't. Like, the illusion is just there to trick you. And the rest of this is not too bad. Power-ups are scarce, but that's okay. They were getting a bit too prevalent for me earlier. Sometimes it's a good idea to, like, do a ducking jump before you climb. Then when you jump again, you're ducking. 
Oh, now I gotta take on Resnor. Eh, it's not your fort anymore. Oh, I almost jumped on him there before I landed on the platform, but I'll live with it. That was an easy clear, if you ask me. Alright, let's move on to the next level. Bubble Trouble. Huh, I thought we would find a witch or something to do with Bubble Bobble. How many years have I played Bubble Bobble? It was okay. Nothing too addicting, though. It's usually better if you have, like, another person to play with. But most games are like that. Well, maybe except for Super Mario 3D World. He'll say, no, Bonga, it's fun with multiplayer because you get to be a little chaotic. Sometimes that's the problem. You always get like one or two people that are good at the game, and then another one or two people who are not, and it usually dra drags everyone back. That's how it happens. Like, you'd be hard pressed to find like four players at that one game that never die and do everything good, find every secret, and well, just go through the game flawlessly. You're always gonna have those roadblocks. That's just how it is. Like, no complete uh, unit can be that coherent that they will be able to do that. Now, four people playing really bad can easily happen, though. And you don't need to be a coherent unit for that, or a cohesive unit, I, that would have been the better term. Rather than coherent, I mean cohesive. But you know what I mean. Alright, so we should be pretty close to the end of the level since I got, well, five Yoshi coins. Eh, I figure I'll start getting these points. Because the bonus game might be different. Lord Lockie's castle? Who's Lockie? I'm guessing it's a lack of two. Well, we saw a spiny egg coming out, so that answers that question. Oh, there are feathers here. Apparently I'll get them through, like, the green blocks. I think I should have my fire flower out anyway. It would be better served for a level like this. Or the ability to slow my descent. Okay, I'm not seeing any regular Lakitu's, just spiny eggs, that's it. Okay, so now we're seeing feathers. I wonder where they've been at. Whoa! Good thing I caught on to that. Or that thing would have caught on to me. And that would have been bad for business. Business of staying alive. Nothing to do with the Bee Gees, by the way. Do they only spell like one of these as spiny eggs in that? Never mind. Okay, well, this part's quite easy. I don't see us taking a hit in this entire fortress. No castle. Okay. I don't want that. Oh, you're gonna be like that, eh? Oh, that's not a problem. I mean, yeah, the first hit was a bit of BS, but still. Oh, sorry, I hit my uh, mic there by accident. Pure pressure. That reminds me of a cool spot. They had a level named exactly like that. I think we can do one level in that. Oh, I saw that coconut. Why does this music sound so Mega Man-ish? Yeah, I figure those things you can't really jump on safely. Not without a spin jump. Yeah, I don't think this- whoa! This is from Mega Man or anything. You know when those coconuts fall like that, they remind me of Adventure Island 2 and 3? Those were the days. Those games were awesome. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll take that. It's mine. You're a useless guard of the treasure. You should just drown. Oh wait, you're already in water. <laughs> I'll be taking this too. Oh yeah. Maybe people would rather see me do hacks of other types of games because they find when I do Super Mario World hacks, get a bit too easy for me sometimes. So I can understand your sentiment there. I mean, the last non-Super Mario World hack I did was probably a Mega Man hack. What was it, Mega Man 6? Yeah. I did stream a Mega Man 4 hack once. Never finished it, I found it a bit too hard. Sometimes when you try, try to do too much in a game, it gets a bit overwhelming. Oh, too bad you can't grab those. Uh, I would have liked to reach that. Eh, maybe I can. So I'll just do that for shits and giggles. Heh, <laughs> fooled you, didn't I? Okay, that was an easy level, but nothing else is new in that. So, we'll stop the video right here. Next episode, we'll go to Lakitu's Island. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.